Now we will see statistics, 5 mark and first we are going to cover the model paper 5 mark questions. Model paper 1, 43. Now we are doing this first question. This is very easy problem. For a collection of data, if sigma x is equal to 35, n means number of values is equal to 5, sigma x minus 9 the whole square is 82. That is the data given. Three values they given. What are the values? Sigma x is given as 35, n number of observations or number of items 5, sigma x minus the whole square 82. So, using this data, you need to find out, then find sigma x square, that means the value of sigma x square and sigma x minus x bar the whole square. Now, first one, here sigma x is given, n is given. So, what we can find? mean value you can find because mean x bar is equal to x bar is equal to sigma x by n that means what sigma x means summation of all the values of x by number of observations so summation of x means all the values if you add up you will get 35 that is what they given that is 35 by n value 5 so, that is 7. So, mean x bar is equal to 7. Mean x bar is equal to 7. Now, then what you should find sigma x square. For that, you have to make use of this data. To find sigma x square directly, we cannot find. You need to expand this by using a minus b whole square formula. Then apply the sigma notation. So, sigma x minus 9 the whole square is given as 82. So, what you will get from this sigma a minus b whole square formula a square minus 2 a b 2 into x into 9. So, 18 x plus b square 9 square 81 is equal to 82. So, what we did here simply we applied the a minus b whole square formula then you can apply sigma notation for each and every term separately. It becomes what sigma x square minus 18 constant take it out sigma x plus 81 into sigma 1 that means 81 into 1 I can write. So, sigma 1 is what number of once you have to add because they given 5 observations, you have to add 5 once 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1. That is what you need to substitute for sigma 1 that is equal to 82. Now, sigma x square that is given as that is the value you have to find out that is unknown value. So, we cannot do anything unknown value minus 18 into sigma x, sigma x they are given as 35. So, you substitute it as 35 plus 81 into 5. You should understand this sigma 1 clearly. What is the meaning of sigma 1 means? 1 you have to add 5 times because how many observations we are having? 5. That is why it is 5. So, you should be very careful here to find the value of sigma 1 is equal to 82. Now, sigma x square minus 18 into 35, 35 8s, 40, 24, plus 4, 28, so 280. Now, 35, 28, 35, 28, 13, 6. So, 630 you are going to get, plus 81 into 5, 5 into 1, 5. 8 into 5, 40. So, 4 not 5. So, this is 4 not 5 is equal to 82. Now, sigma x square, now this one you have to bring that side. So, if you bring that side, it is equal to 82 plus because minus becomes plus. If you bring here this side, 630. Again, if you bring this one this side, it becomes a minus because sign changes. Now, these two are plus sign. So, add those two values. What is the value? 630 
and 82, 11, 7, 12. So, 7, 12 minus 405. First, I will write here 7, 12 minus 405. So, nothing but 307. So, this is your first answer. Sigma x square, the value is 307. Very simple. So, not at all difficult. Just here, you should remember that a minus b whole square formula, we should make use of all the values, you know, substitute those values one by one and evaluate whatever you need to get. That is sigma x square. Now, in the same way, we will see the second problem. Second problem, you see here, what they ask? Sigma x minus x bar, the whole square. That you can find the value of the sigma x minus x bar the whole square by using this formula again. So, for both the values, you need to use the given data only. Now, listen carefully here, second one, first one is finished, second one, sigma x minus 9, the whole square is given as 82. So, what I can write here, here sigma, I can write this one as x minus 7 minus 2, the whole square, can I write like that? Why? Because what is uh, x bar value? 7. So, you should make use of 7 there. So, minus 9, we can write it as minus 7 minus 2. Otherwise, we cannot get x minus x bar whole square answer. Okay. So, now this is again a minus b whole square formula. This is a, this is b. So, sigma, so a minus b whole square formula is what? a square. So, a square. Now, minus 2 a b minus 2 into 2 4. So, 4 into x minus 7 plus b square 2 square plus 4 is equal to 82. So, just I use here inside a minus b whole square formula by taking a as x minus 7, b as 2. So, a square minus 2 into 2, 4 a b plus b square 2 square 4. Now, we apply the sigma notation, sigma x minus 7 the whole square minus 4 into sigma x minus 7 plus uh, sigma 4, that means 4 I can take outside, sigma 1 I can write it as 82. So, now, this one sigma x minus what is 7? x bar. So, I can substitute this one as x bar because that is the value you have to find out. The whole square minus 4 into sigma x minus x bar plus 4 into sigma 1 that is 5. Why? I already told here also what is sigma 1 value you substituted 5 because 5 values you have to add is equal to 82. Okay. So, now sigma this is the value you have to find out the whole square minus 4 into 0 because this is standard result since x minus x bar since or last we can write plus 20 is equal to 82. Since sigma x minus x bar is equal to 0. This is the standard result important. So, instead of this one, I am substituting as 0. So, what is the value now? Sigma x minus x bar the whole square plus 20 because this is 0 is equal to 82. So, this implies what is sigma x minus x bar the whole square 82 minus 20. Why? Because this is positive when it comes this side negative. So, this implies sigma x minus x bar the whole square is equal to 62. So, that is your answer. So, very simple for both the values you have to find out or you have to make use of given data only. First you find mean x bar, then you expand this formula automatically first unknown value you will get sigma x square. So, by using a minus b square formula, 
sigma x square value you can find very easily. Similarly, by using x minus 9 the whole square, so minus 9 that is a crucial point you should remember, minus 9 you have to make use of 7. So, minus 7 minus 2 you can write. So, a minus b whole square formula again. So, instead of this 7 I can write x bar again because that is the x bar value mean value we found. Now, this value is already 0 that is a that is a result that is very very important result. So, this 4 into 0 0 sigma 1 sigma 1 means what 5 values we are having. So, 5 observations 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 5 times. So, 5. So, after that this is 0 this value you need 20 bring that side 82 minus 20 62 very easy 